This is Corey from Planet Mosh in Glasgow with the boys from Malface. Hello, 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 good day. <laughs> you just introduce yourselves, please. Oh, I am Ben, I play guitar in Malthus. I'm Dale and I um, sing Scream and Dance. <laughs> um, good. <laughs> you just come off the sound check there, so yep. everyone all set and good for tonight then? Yeah, 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 I mean we're a bit we're a bit cold if I'm honest. <laughs> like we've been we've been wearing coats and doors all day. <laughs> so um, we're looking for some people to warm it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're all set, we're all set to candy, we're out of our mates like Zeraf. Mm. Um, so us being the only two support bands for this build makes it well easy because yeah. we all know each other, we all use the same gear, like we're screws and yeah, literally all the way through. Right, so I said, speak to the boys there, I went on there and I said the same exact same thing, it must make life easier for you guys when you know one another. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's not all these weird, awkward, hey, I'm Dale, nice to meet you. Like, all right, you cunt, I'll see you in weeks. No, it's good, it's good, like. They're really good guys, great bands, like, it's just going to be fun. Exciting about the, the tour in general? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we we, um, we finished uh, our headline run in October, and we were pretty much like locking everything up for Christmas, do you know what I mean? Like, because we got a new record coming out, we were like, we're going to be starting the promo around now, so we ain't going to be able to, we ain't going to have to play live. So, um, so yeah, like, we, we got this phone call and was like, off of main support for testament so I'm, of course we're going to take it <laughs> <laughs> how long did you actually think about yeah, it exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, it was just like fuck it it'll be fun we'll, we'll have fun so here we are starting a tour in Glasgow which is awful oh don't see that <laughs> it's nothing about it's not about Glasgow <laughs> it's the fact that we live in Reading and London so yeah. it's, it's driving eight hours to begin a tour which is horrific we drove up last night um, and died almost certainly. I mean, it's a fairly intense tour as well, right? Enough for the short, the, the, the dates you're covering and the places you're covering as well. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. So I mean, it's a lot of it's a lot of towns we have been to a lot in, in our career. Like we've we've done this run loads, so um, it wasn't something we really had to think about because it was like, well, you know, we know we go down well in these towns and cities. Testament fans, like the elitist thrash metal fans, like the Bloodstock message board and forum kind of people probably won't like us, but we don't give a fuck. They don't like us on the internet and they get them like, oh, yeah. <laughs> no. The thing is, it, 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 it's a quid rate to say that those guys won't matter because it will be the kind of main support. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
here before, we did this exactly the same run, exactly the same venues with Arch Enemy. Arch Enemy, Testament fans, kind of, kind of similar. We've done it. We've supported. We've we opened for Morbid Angel in London once. Not yeah. so good. No, that was, <laughs> <laughs> that, that was too far. Yeah. I was like, yeah, we'll blag our way through this. Our way through, we'll like, let's fuck off. Let's go. Let's go. Um, no, like, I mean, we, we don't care. We play heavy music for people that want to have fun. Like, we're, you know, we're, it's, we're not like 30 seconds from Mars, do you know what I mean? We, we do have some reason we are on this level. Uh, and every other bit. Well, I'm saying we're looking forward to seeing you guys the meetings there. Well, it's the first time I've seen the testament. <coughs> first time you know. So first time I've seen the testament. Maybe I've had to do it. Yeah, I've seen the testament. And uh, you guys uh, recently signed the Sightings of Transcend. Yeah. Yep. We're releasing Entities, yeah, yeah, they yeah. did that, they did that uh, about a month or two ago. I can't remember. We've got a new record coming out there at the beginning of this. Which is already all done. It's all ready to piss off the uh, cable borrowers. <laughs> <and, laughs> you got a live DVD coming out as well? Yep. It's a pledge one. Yeah, so we're doing, we're doing a pledge campaign. It's very old. It's like we did it in 2007. Mm -hmm. We just never did anything with it. We're all 18 and fat. <laughs> and like, hair down to here, big beards. So it's mainly for people who want to own a, a little bit of history as opposed to like releasing it because we're like overly chuffed with it, I suppose. It's just, yeah. Made we, we shot it just before we signed to Metal Blade. <clears throat> and the transition from signing to our old label to Metal Blade. The DVD kind of got lost. The Blade weren't really interested in doing anything with it because of the legalities, because we owned it. I don't know, it was just absolute nonsense. So we waited until we left Blade, and then we were like, we've now got free run to do some of the It's like, you know, we know we're not going to make millions of it. It's just something for our fans. Do you know what I mean? People that have followed us since Entities, which is still like. Our, our core fan base, their favourite album is our first album, so this is something that will appeal to them, which is why we've done it really. Pretty much only that album. Like, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's a few repeats. Is it? Yeah. yeah Burning Shadows. Oh. That room. <laughs> yeah. You've already, you've already got, got a lot about what folk can expect tonight, but um, if it is the, the Malfoy's Virgin, what are they going to get in their faces tonight? I think I think you can take you can take um, whatever you want from our shows. I mean, we go out and we get in people's faces and we make them move. Like that, that's what we've always done. Like we're we're like 26, 27, so when we were like 12, 13, 14, that's when Slipknot broke. So we've grown up idolising bands like Slipknot that do exactly that. And we're like that. We're in that kind of a, we want to make people move. We want to make people feel us about showmanship. Like, yeah. Many bands nowadays just kind of, they may be amazingly like, good performers, but they don't actually do it much. So you come to a show with the visual stimuli as well as the sound. Totally. I mean, we we, um, we always say, like, if, if no one's moving out front, we've got to work harder. A lot of bands would just stand there with their phone on a guitar and just play their song. And it's like, I'm not being funny, but I'm going to listen to a CD at home. It's like, I mean, like, I want to I see a show. People say, well, show. You know, you go to the Testament show tonight, it's, it's a show, do you know what I mean? We've got to perform the music, not just play it, so we're very much performers, we always have been, and I suppose we're... You feel like, you know, what's Russell Crowe is, because you're like, you're not dead today! Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I mean, we're all, we're all carrying injuries that we've picked up along the way that have just been niggles that have stayed with us forever, you've got a dodgy leg, a dodgy knee, my back's been fucking destroyed at the moment. Dare I say that is half the fun of it? Playing in a band and playing live. Yeah, it's for, it's, yeah, it's for these experiences. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You know, it's, it's, it's a battle scars. Oh, dude, like, I've had, I've had some. Like his, the guitar head of his guitar has gone through layers and layers of my skin before. Like, a couple of stays looking like I've been knifed. I've always, so, I've always been fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mike, wait till you start spinning my microphone around. Yeah. Watch this, tonight will be the first time, and I'll be like, no! You jinxed it. <laughs> so I'll wrap up by saying, um, do you any message for the plan and watch folk there? Come and see you, or um, tonight, or in the future? Or we hope you didn't get hurt tonight. <laughs> um, 
we hope you got very drunk tonight. Yeah. We hope you bought loads of merch. Yes. Um, if you didn't, then we'll, we'll have to come again to Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, keep coming to shows, keep hanging out, keep buying our music, and more importantly, keep supporting your local scenes because when your local scenes go, your venues go. You know, we're surrounded by places where we live that are just venues have fallen off the planet and it all comes out of the local scene so just keep it real and posh. See your face to keep from the guys that we can guys that you never take. Thank you. Enjoy yourselves tonight. Thanks, buddy.